Charlie, and I'm Garvey, and uh, we're working on a basketball offseason circuit training. So uh, we're going to start up the total body movement to get the CMS fired up. And uh, we're going to do the old squat. Uh, the circuit is 10 minutes long. It's going to be 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest at each station. So uh, the red ball squat, we want you to go intermediate, not like fast, not heavy, but in between. So you just hold this, like shoulder width apart. Come down up, and make sure that all those touch your knees. And, uh, for our second workout, we have the row, the bent over row. And so uh, you would grab it and you would want the uh, supine or prone, whichever is more comfortable. And you want to go down, you want your wrist to touch your knees, like that much distance. And you just pull it up, keep a straight back, and up and down. So you would just go down into the semi squat position and do two steps to the side, two steps back. This will open up uh, the IT panel and do it sideways. The next exercise we have is a ladder. So, with the ladder, we want to, we want to emulate fast movement and in the court when you in the court when you're in the defensive position you will have quick feet so you don't want the player to get stumbled or have to put a look at you so you have one demonstration of going through slow motion and then but well, I want this to be game speed so it'll be fast and quick. Next exercise we have is crush and twist. This will help you with your abs, core stability, and it will target mainly your transverse abs. So you will have balance on your hip, and you just go side to side. One, 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 one. Next exercise we have is hurdles. What I want you to do is be relaxed. Don't do nothing crazy, just run through them. So you first have to go on the side. First you have to go through it in slow motion. Then next we have to go through it in game speed. Everything is going to be game speed because you want to emulate you in a real game. So stay tuned, slow motion. So, next one you want to do game speed. What I want you to do is have a tight core and get those knees up nice at a 90 angle, 90 degree angle. So when you're in a court, we don't want you to have sloppy, sloppy legs and bad footwork. Next exercise is the push up. We're just going to see how many push ups you can do in 30 seconds. And uh, we want to throw in an upper body workout over there. Down and up. That's good. Next we have skaters, what you do is start on one leg, explode to the other side, stick a nice clean landing, and then explode to the other side again, back and forth. This helps because there's a lot of lateral movement in basketball and it adds to some explosive work as well. Um, next exercise we have is, is, a, is a simple four cone drill, basically you want to run up, lateral shuffle, back pedal. Lateral shuffle and then run up again. So it would be something like this. And then, uh, our last exercise is the top shoulder. What you're gonna do is bring bring the weight up and then chop down and then switch sides. Since the circuit goes twice, you do one side one circuit, and then when you do the second circuit, you switch to the other side. What this exercise is going to help you do is core strength, core stability, and hip, open up your hips, because in a basketball game, um, basketball players tendency have, have a tendency of having tight hips, so you don't want them to have hip problems when you game.
good. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Let's go. 